can I dye my hair to match my new sweater? Stick around to find out. Hi friends, my name is Claire and this is my channel. Watch a theory. Here, I make content about what it is like to live as an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me. So if that sounds good to you or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, ring the bell. I almost forgot to mention that I put out videos three times a week. Click the like, click the like, please, please, please do that, help me. Today I am combining some of my favorite things, which is Lunar Tides hair dye, and crochet. So if for some reason you watch my crochet videos, all 10 of you, uh, you may know that I got some beautiful high-end yarn from the thrift store and I finished a sweater out of some of the yarn that I got. It's gorgeous. Is it for everyone? No, but I'm so proud of it. Look at those beautiful colors. So I thought I need to re-dye my hair anyway. Why not try to make it greeny teal to better match my new sweater? And then I can model them together. I know, what a great video idea. <laughs> As usual, and very thankfully, all of my hair dye today has come from Lunar Tides. They have graciously sent me this hair dye and also given me a code for you. That's right. Enter code Witchhead Theory 15 at your purchase and you'll get 15% off of your order. And then I get a little commission that helps me a lot. So please consider using my code. Today we're going to play a bit of Mad Scientist. Uh, I do have hair dye for a few more weeks from now. That's a little bit of a different color, but I wanted to go ahead and use up all of my green. So I pulled out a few things I've got this much Cerulean C left, a whole bunch of Juniper Green, and of course, guys, they sell 8 ounce bottles now, so definitely check that out. I've got like a tablespoon of Magic Oracle, which is that black green, and then, you've never seen this, probably, I have the beautiful color Mint Frost. This was a special edition for the winter and they sent it to me and my hair is just too dark to dye it this beautiful pastel green. It's gorgeous. So I thought if I mixed it in, it would uh, give uh, just a little bit of something different to my concoction. It's also sparkly, so I thought that that might make my hair a little shinier. So yes, mint frost, we're gonna mix that in too. I think the first thing I'm going to start with is the Cerulean C. There's not a ton left and I'm worried about how I'm gonna get it out. So I was thinking I could try cutting it. It's almost like they don't want you to cut it. Cake scraper. Scrape it in here. I need as much cerulean sea as possible because it's a blue based green. And my sweater is like a blue based green, so there's also normal green on it, I guess, but oh yeah, that's probably as much cerulean sea as I'm gonna get out of that. Now I have a bunch of juniper green, so I think I'll be okay to just. Squeeze it out. And juniper green's more like a yellow based green. I guess my question is, do I wanna put any magic oracle in it? Cause I'm kind of worried it'll be too dark. Hmm, maybe that would help a little. Let's see, how much do we have left in here? Just a little. Okay, we just put a little bit of Magic Oracle in there. 
Oh my gosh, guys, this is beautiful. <gasps> Look at this color. Wow. It's like smoky green. Oh, I wish my hair was light enough. It's not. I'm just gonna put some in there. I don't know if it's gonna do anything, but I just wanted to try it so bad. Maybe it'll uh, make the black one not as black. And now we stir. How can I test this? Oh, it's perfect. That's exactly the color of my sweater. Mixing of the concoction is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair out. I'm gonna use coconut oil all around my ears and my neck because I did that last time and it worked so much better at getting it off later, the hair dye. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. I have roughly partitioned my hair to make it easier to get full coverage. The first step I'm gonna do is go in with my lunar tights little color brush. Uh, I'm gonna go in and I like to do all of the edges with the brush just to make sure that's all neat and clean. And I'll do the back edges, the front, whatever. I think that this really helps with not making as much mess on your skin. And if you have ever dyed your hair in funny colors, you know that that is the biggest struggle. So here we go. Okay. So um, another reason I'm dyeing my hair is I have to leave the house tomorrow and see people. And uh, I can't believe that I haven't seen these people in such a long time, but I'm excited to see them and I also wanna look not like a quarantine ogre, which is what I look like now. I find that if I try to do the edges with the gloves on, it just gets everywhere, so this is just easier for me. I'm just using the brush to uh, feel for the back of my hairline. And my trick for that is to go higher than you think and then kind of pat down until you reach the end so you're not just guessing. Uh, we're doing one color over the whole head, so it really doesn't matter where you get the hair dye. I just want to make sure it's not going in crazy places. All right, there we have it. I've done around my entire head. Now we get to switch to the other part. Best part. One last sip of coffee. You may be thinking, Claire, why aren't you using like normal gloves? Well, these are reusable cleaning gloves and they haven't ripped on me yet. So that's what I'm gonna use. Until they rip, I'm just gonna keep using these. My other tip is start from the back all the way to the front. So as you go, you can just keep laying the hair on top of itself and you're not making a big mess. Back to front. Also, if you've watched other hair dye videos I've done, you know that my uh, biggest advice is to cover everything you own with a towel. You might think, oh, I'm really careful. It doesn't matter doesn't matter how careful you are. Hair dye will get somewhere. So better to cover everything. Sometimes I'll find it days later. Like how did it get there? This piece isn't as big because it's where most of my hair broke off in the accident of August 2021. Still, we will rebuild. So cool. I think it's gonna really match my sweater. So I'll get this cleaned up. I will wait 40, 45 minutes, wash it out, make myself look gorgeous 
and then be back to show you the final product. As usual, lunar tides, over the moon, beautiful, gorgeous, and I think it matches my sweater pretty well. My custom mix, kind of more the darker green, but in person, the tealy color reads a little bit darker, so I feel like it matches better in person, but beautiful as always look at this and I hope that this encourages you that maybe you can mix some of your favorite lunar tides paradise together too and come out with custom fun result the sweater is a free pattern that I will link down below it's a cropped cardigan super easy to make if you crochet it is bulky it is oversized not something I probably will wear outside of the house a lot, but it's so warm and so beautiful. I can't wait to wear it. Just sitting out on the porch, having a cup of coffee. It's perfect for that. All right, my friends. Well, I'm so happy that you were able to join me today to see what I could do with several colors of Lunar Tide's green hair dye mixed together. Remember to use my code theory 15 at checkout, and I will see you next time. Bye.